Hi, I'm Mary, also known as Mercy Triumphs, and this is episode 001 of Slow Crochet, my inaugural run or first foray or stepping my foot into the UT water. So the fact that you found me is kind of miraculous, actually. Um, we shall see what the algorithm does. How long will this video be there without anyone noticing it? We'll find out. As a means of introduction, I thought I would show my works in progress and talk a little bit about my philosophy around them. Everyone has their own approach to works in progress, and for me, I found I don't want too many, I don't want too few, I'm a little bit of the Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you gotta find the just right spot. Um, I always get so excited to start a new project, and then it goes on and on and on, depending on what it is, and I start to get discouraged. And then, um, so I found I can't just have one thing going at a time because if it's a big project, then there's such a, a time between the beginning excitement and then it wears off and then I'm, it takes so long to get to that satisfaction of, I finished it, it's amazing, let's wear it, let's use it, I love it. That moment, right? Like you kind of have these bookends with really any art where you have the initial idea and then the completion or some people say it's never complete, you just abandon it, right? We're not going for perfection here. So, um, as you can imagine, as we all do, there's a lot going on in life, so I find that I do need a few works in progress, but they need to fit specific needs in my life. So I need things that I can keep at home, I need things that can go to church or while I'm sitting in the car or um, small small like waiting times. I need projects for that. Um, I need something that will stretch me a little bit and I have to focus on. And then I need things that are maybe longer term that I can just pick up and put down, not have to worry about. I know I will complete it, but there's no deadline. I'll get to it eventually. So those are kind of my four main categories. And I'll talk about uh, each of my current works in progress. And this will hopefully establish a baseline. So. I don't expect that this will be a, a, a podcast or a YouTube channel that is full of finishes because <laughs> I am a slow crocheter, hence the name. Um, but I really do enjoy the craft and I've so enjoyed um, so, so many other people sharing their um, artistic experiences and expressions with me. And I just felt like it was time, you guys. So here I am. All right. So first work in progress. Hopefully it will be the first one completed because it is the closest to completion. It is my, what I'm calling a block cabin throw. So imagine if you will, 16 of these uh, quilt block inspired, this log cabin quilt block hmm, um, Afghan squares. I have them all, uh, all connected together. And the only thing I have left to do is to turn my four by four square into a rectangle, which I'm doing by adding some borders with leftover yarn. Um, the yarns I'm using for this afghan are all 100% um, acrylic. Um, I am doing the blocks stitched throughout. I like that it's it's not just a, a granny, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's just a little different. It's just a little different. Um, nothing wrong with the granny, just a little different. Um, so all 100% acrylic yarns, four weights, um, some are from Lion Brand, some are from Red Heart. So the, um, the internal two, the white and the red, are both Red Heart Super Saver. The, uh, the color is Aran, and I believe it's Claret, Claret. Don't ask me how to pronounce alcohol. I am a, I'm not, I'm not the best on alcoholic pronunciations. So the other ones, I'm using Vanna's Choice from Lion Brand in Olive. And then two different pounds of love, one in navy and one in maize. So a little while back, lionbrand.com had a sale. And then I uh, thought that those, the colors that I picked up worked really nicely with this uh, red heart that I had left over from a Christmas project. Or maybe a, a Christmas project that never came to be. Hmm. Y'all can relate, right? <laughs> right? So anyway, that is my mindless crochet project. I can sit on the couch especially as cold as my husband likes to keep this house, um, 
I can sit on the couch and cuddle with it in June and not have to really think about what my hands are doing, but I can listen as my children are reading to me. I can watch something that I'm really interested in. I can have an interesting conversation and my hands are busy and I'm working on it, but I'm not, um, I'm not disengaged. Number one, project number one. Project number two is my small portable take anywhere crochet in church um, project. This is a beret that is going to be um, for me. It's made off a pattern by Barocco and the pattern is called Fanny. So I'm still getting it bigger and I didn't even do a gauge swatch so I don't know if I'm on gauge or not, but that's okay. It can be a floppy, um, a floppy beret. The pattern itself is pretty easy to memorize, so I've really enjoyed getting to work with it and still be able to concentrate on the sermon that I'm listening to, or um, it's not so big that I'm taking up extra room. Um, and, you know, honestly, on that note, I've had so many fun conversations, met so many neat people, crocheting in public places, so highly recommend it if you haven't tried it yet. Um, I am using Premier Wool Select, which is a DK weight yarn. It is 273 yards, 250 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 75% acrylic, and 25% wool. Um, I made our Christmas afghan out of Wool Select, and I really enjoyed working with it. So I had some extra, and I'm going to be trying some more um, DK weight projects with that. So happy days on the beanie. The beret. I've made enough beanies. I'm switching to berets for a minute. Third project brought to you by our friends called the Hobby Lobby clearance sale. Yarns I never would have picked out for myself, but there they were. They were so pretty. Um, Premier Cotton Collage is one of them for the next project. It is a one weight. It, I believe it's a, a sock yarn as it's cotton uh, super fi super wash fine merino wool polyamide and PBT. Um, it is a one weight and the other yarn I'm using for this project is Stitch 101 5050 Cognac is the color. Another alcohol. 50% acetate, 50% modal. It is a medium weight number four. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 180 yards or 165 meters. So I'm holding these two yarns together. And I'm working on a little neckerchief using predominantly slip stitches. So this takes some concentration and I want to make sure that my counts are accurate because this is not a pattern that is written. It's something I'm kind of coming up with. So I want to make sure that the ends taper and it's generally, generally even. Um, and I want to make sure that when I get to the, the other end that I can make it symmetrical. So this is my project that requires a little bit of concentration, um, but it's good to have, you know, you can knock out a few rows every once in a while and then keep yourself interested by switching to something else, like something a bit more long-term. My last project is my long-term dress. So this one actually came off of a pattern from a book called Ostentatious Crochet. And I do not have that book with me. It is at the library where I found it. Um, but again, thank you Hobby Lobby for your marvelous clearance sale. When, uh, when they had their sale, I was able to snag about seven of these Sugar Wheel cotton solids in white. And so this is five ounces, 335 yards. Um, and it's 100% cotton. It's a DK weight, uh, lightweight three yarn. Um, it's what was called for in the pattern, and I can put a link to that in the description. But the pattern is uh, an afternoon at Pemberley. And when I'm not going to try this on, and I will put a slip under it, but I just love the, the simple beauty of it. I love, you know, you can see how the light catches through the stitches. Um, the thing is, in the pattern in the book, the dress comes out as a column shape and then you make a little um, drawstring to go under the bust to kind of cinch it in. Well, for me, that style of dress 
doesn't really uh, work on my body type. It's not my favorite. So I have done a little bit of shaping. You can kind of see coming in and then flaring, flaring back out. You can see my stitch markers where I have the, uh, the increases and decreases. But I'm at the point now where I'm just doing repeats. And it is a two row repeat. Um, it's memorized. The book is well back at the library. But um, I'm not sure, am I going to make this knee length or ankle length or T length or should I do a slit? I don't know. The hope is that my husband and I will get to go on a tropical vacation um, without the kids and we'll get to go next spring. So no, uh, no rush on this one. And I am enjoying, uh, enjoying working on it. The, the yarn is super soft and super sweet and it will be very gratifying when it's done and hopefully should that I'm actually I do expect I expect we're gonna get to go I expect we'll go and then I'll take pictures and it'll be wonderful so those are my four works in progress at the moment I want to I'm again I am a slow crocheter um, when everyone was doing that like time yourself how fast can you crochet I would time myself and I would look in the comments and I would say oh my goodness all right then I guess I'm just slow but here I am. I love it anyway. And it's not, it's not about comparing yourself to others anyway. This is something that we do because we enjoy it and it brings happiness and peace and contentment and fulfillment to our lives. So it's not about comparison. Anyway, thank you so much for being with me today. If you have enjoyed spending time with me, by all means, do the standard YouTube things. The like, the share, and the comment, the bell notification, and subscribe. If I'm not really your cup of tea, thank you so much for listening this long. I hope I will see you guys again soon. Bye.